Join Annie Crawley's dive team as they explore the Midriff Islands in the Gulf of California. It's one of the most diverse seas and rich ecosystems on the planet. The Gulf of California separates the Baja Peninsula from the Mexican mainland. They arrive and board the Kino El Guardian, a citizen science research vessel, and their home for the next week. As they unpack, they prepare their equipment, making sure they'll be ready to dive into the water at a moment's notice. After exploring the boat and meeting the crew, they get to work with marine biologist Dr. Carlos Sanchez. Carlos specializes in coral biology on reefs in the Sea of Cortez. On their expedition, the dive team will collect samples and learn how to take a census of life on the reefs. They are armed with underwater cameras and GoPros and solar lights. Annie Crawley and her dive team's mission is to be the voice of the ocean. They learn storytelling techniques and the importance of documenting their experiences. The Midriff Island Expedition will give these young scientists a chance to explore and dive with mega animals like the whale sharks while creating a deeper scientific understanding of how everything is interrelated. As the morning light breaks, the team prepares for their first dive. After checking their nitrox, which is air enriched with additional oxygen, and donning their equipment, they head to their dive site on Pongas, also known as Zodiacs. These scientists feel the lingering excitement of discovery right before they hit the water and become underwater explorers. Just below the surface, an entire world comes alive. The rocky reefs are covered with marine life. Schools of fish swim around the coral and kelp-covered rocks. Rays glide along the sand. Moray eels swim along the reef, taking shelter under rocks. The harder-to-spot octopus disguise themselves as they creep along the reef with their color-changing skin. The divers swim through clouds of plankton and mycids floating just above the reefs. It's an underwater wonderland. Mycid shrimp are abundant around the Midriff Islands. These tiny creatures are the energy source for the entire ecosystem here in the Sea of Cortez. They can carpet an entire rocky reef system and can be so thick on a reef that it is difficult to see through the clouds of mycids. Seabirds dive down to dine on these critters. Fish, coral, and many other animals also feed on these creatures. Their energy bioaccumulates up the food web and sea lions, sharks, and rays depend on the health of these small crustaceans in order to thrive. Carlos beckons one of the group of divers over to a large outcropping of coral. He instructs them to take samples of Cargonians. During the dives with Carlos, they collect a variety of animals, including sea stars, nudibranchs, and black coral. While diving, the team finds many surprises lurking in the depths below, and all of their time spent underwater is not only focused on science. When you put kids and water together, they attract fun. After a full day of diving, the marine scientists examine their samples back on deck. As they set up the microscope, the dive team studies sea stars, crustaceans, and other small creatures crawling around the collection tank. They take turns looking at the different plants and animals, scientifically drawing what they see as they gain a deeper understanding of how important the microscopic world is to the entire ecosystem. After only one day, the ocean has given these explorers experiences and a base of knowledge impossible to learn from books. The next day, a pod of Pacific white-sided dolphins are spotted on the horizon, leaping and jumping in the air. They rush to the pongas with mass snorkel and fins in hand. The dolphins jump and splash around the zodiacs as the team races through the water, trying to attract the dolphins to the boats. On cue from the captain, the dive team drops into the water to see the dolphins swimming below. Racing through the water in small family groups, 
The dolphins swish past. They are heading out to their morning feeding grounds. As they climb back aboard, the captain spots blows in the distance. Fin whales are the second largest whale in the world, and pairs of whales are cruising in the bay. The team gets an up-close look at these shy whales from the surface, dropping in only to feel the push of the whale's tail. Back aboard the Kinoel Guardian, they log their dives and update their journals. Today was an incredibly special day, as it was the first day these young scientists dived with dolphins and whales. These explorers are experiencing the ocean in a way others only dream about. The next mission they embark upon with Carlos and Ocean Annie include fish counts and learning how to identify fish. They head out to explore the reef, carrying white slates, pencils, and measuring tools so they can accurately report on the fish they find. Cameras, also important to scientists, allow them to document what they see on their dives and gives them the ability to look at footage once back on shore or in their labs. King angelfish are known as cleaners on the reef. The team shares responsibilities counting, drawing, and observing these fish. As they are busy identifying and collecting data, sea lions start to dive bomb the divers. Sea lions are one of the most curious and interactive of all the marine mammals. Our dive masters and guides shared their secrets to diving with sea lions. You have to act like a sea lion. The ones that come to play with the divers are juveniles, one to two years old. The divers do twists and turns to attract sea lions closer, as the juveniles love to take a closer look at the divers. Flipping and blowing bubbles, the sea lions imitate the divers. Sea lions have a special nose flap that closes when they are in the water, so that they never get water up their noses. We are not sure who has more fun, us as divers or the sea lions. It is the most incredible experience to kneel in the sand and be surrounded by dozens of sea lions as they zip all around you. The divers learn how to identify sea lions and must have a respect for the hierarchy. The sea lion rookeries we visit have a variety of juveniles and females being guarded by one male bull who fights off other males and any other threats to his territory. The juveniles come out to play, but the bulls are another story. You cannot cross the line of the bull as he swims back and forth guarding the perimeter of his group. You can identify the large male bull because he weighs nearly half a ton and at eight feet long is the largest sea lion in the water. Look closely at his head. He boasts a huge bump known as a sagittal crest. You can hear the barking bull underwater and feel the vibration in your chest. He blows bubbles and barks to mark his territory. If you get too close, he charges, barking and gaping his mouth to warn off the divers. The shallows of these islands are filled with life. Green sea turtles swim amongst the rocky reefs. This friendly turtle feeds on algae up in the surf zone without a care in the world, letting us film her behavior. While half our dive team explores the shallows, some of our other divers explore the inside of a cave. They swim into the darkness to see what animals are there. They spot lobster and other creatures deep in the cracks and crevices. They enter only as deep as they can see, as they know penetrating caves and caverns while diving requires more training and experience. Scuba divers move slowly underwater as many animals use camouflage to blend in and hide. On land and with our books, we study where animals live and then hunt for them underwater in the different environments. While exploring the sand, our team finds a surprise. Seahorses swimming along the sand. One seahorse stops to feed, and it seems to have as much interest in the divers as the divers have in the seahorse. Seahorses have no teeth and use their snout like a straw to suction up mycids and other tiny animals. As the sun goes down on the fifth day, 
the team heads out for a night dive. The reef changes at night. In order to see, the divers use solar lights by light and motion. They film octopus hunting, scorpion fish lying in wait for their prey, rays feeding, and so many cool critters that come out at night. The greatest migration in the world happens at night underwater. Plankton travels from the deep sea to the surface to feed and back down again every single night. It's a fish eat fish world at night. We know more about outer space than we do about our ocean. They found new species on their night dive with the solar night sea lights. Another morning of excitement. They've arrived at a bay where juvenile whale sharks gather to feed. Whale sharks are the largest fish in the ocean, congregating in different areas of the ocean based on food sources. The crew scans the surface of the water and search for the telltale dorsal fin. Within minutes, they spot four at the surface and off the divers swim to study these animals in the water. The water is rich with copepods and nutrients. The filter feeding whale sharks simply open and close their mouths, gulping the nutrient rich water and pushing it through their gills. They have special gill rakers to siphon off the food. So the divers have to be careful not to get too close to the animals as their skin is comprised of denticles and feels rough like sandpaper if you touched it. They are gentle giants and have no intention of harm. All sharks need our respect and it's our responsibility to control our interaction with them. Swimming with whale sharks changes lives. The team spent more than four hours in the water with these sharks, observing and filming their natural behavior. Their excitement could not be contained as they tried to keep up with these gentle giants. The scientists ran experiments, including plankton toes, to find out what the whale sharks were feeding on. They discovered an abundance of endemic copepods. This is why the whale sharks migrate through the region. The waters of the Gulf of California are a living library. Thanks to the entire crew of the Kino El Guardian, the explorers gained experiences in a week that will last a lifetime. This is just the beginning of many adventures with Annie Crawley's dive team to document the ocean. Dive in with us, join our next expedition, and become part of our dive team and a voice for our ocean.